So in the original, you don't get much of a sense of who is Belle, what does she do, where does she come from, how does she spend her time before she goes and meets Beast. And so I, I wanted to create a bit more of a backstory for her. You kind of get a little bit of a sense of why she doesn't fit in, like she likes to read books and she's not desperately in love with Gaston, but why is it that she's such an outsider? Why does she feel like she doesn't fit so much? And I really wanted to get to the bottom of that. We kind of made her this mad, wacky inventor, which was uh, originally kind of like her father yeah. was, that, was that role, and it kind of became more about Belle. Kevin Klein's character for my father became much more of this slightly frightened, slightly nervous, cautious, but very sensible, wise, loving father. Um, so it was really fun to do to to do that and and add that on. Yeah, crazy old Maurice. Was crazy building, old Maurice but building instead, like a wood cutting machine. Yeah, like but now it's Belle. <laughs> Belle's like creating this mad. Uh, she tra essentially creates a prototype for the first washing machine, so that instead of having to do the washing herself, she can sit and read she has a, while her machine is taking care of it. It's a barrel with like a mm -hmm. thing that with attaches a to a donkey that pulls it around. <laughs> I know it's a whole thing. Donkey but powered yeah. washing machine. <laughs> yeah, donkey powered washing machine. That's also a really traumatic scene in the film because she doesn't just invent this thing that starts you know washing the clothes mm -hmm. in the public square. She's using her spare time to teach another small girl to read, and then the villagers come and. I don't want to give away too much, but they destroy her mm. machine. There's like an anti-intellectualism in this village, which you get from her song. Yeah. Uh, there must be more than this provincial yeah. life, but you really get a sense of it in this movie. They're hostile to her bringing change and her intelligence. They don't there think is, women should read. They don't think women should read, and, it's, and it goes further than that, which is a really interesting that you picked up on that, which is that they're deeply suspicious of intelligence and, and anyone that, you know, is... <sighs> going beyond that and they don't like anything that's foreign, unknown, that that might be beyond their realm of experience. And so they really do, they try it's breaking the washing machine is symbolic of not just them, you know, breaking something she spent hours working on, but them really trying to break her spirit and kind of trying to kind of push her and mold her into a more acceptable version of herself. I think that happens a lot with women and a lot with young girls where it's like, oh, that's nice, but why don't we just kind of push you this way a little bit and like... Why don't you do what's expected or yeah, traditional? Yeah, we prefer this aspect of your personality. Let's cultivate that area or that sort of thing that you're good at and let's just kind of like push that side a little bit.